Hey everybody, what is going on? Hexlex here. Got another Master Duel video for you guys today. It's actually been a while since I opened a video here on the start screen of the page. Usually I just open on the deck now, uh, whichever deck I'm playing, you know, that game for. But you might be wondering, well, hey, what are you doing here? What's going on with this video? Well, as you might be able to tell from the title there, we are actually going to be taking on the new... Newer, rather. It, the solo mode that just came out. Um... The SP Deck Challenge. I've heard a lot of, uh, I guess, kind of horror stories, <laughs> maybe for lack of a better word, about how hard it can be to beat some of these challenges with the loner decks. I've seen more than one person uh, unironically say it's more difficult than getting plat one. Um, and even with the other solo challenges, I actually haven't uh, yet made any attempts to beat them with the clear them rather with the loner decks there. I haven't even done the Light Force one yet. The Light Sworn rather. So I thought, um, yeah, why not? Why not make a uh, video series out of it? Let's go into the SP deck challenge here and uh, I guess we'll see how bad it is. So there's how many matches are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. I have viewed the rewards so um, yeah, I know it's they're not like too great. Isn't just legacy tickets except for like 200 gems at the end or no you get the magical hats field parts That's like 200 gems at the end for the loner deck, but no, eh, whatever. It's still a fun challenge. I guess um, I don't feel like it'd be that Exciting to watch me, you know <clears throat> play my meta decks against these fun decks here So uh, and you know in the spirit of the challenge. I want to try to beat it with the loners I don't want to see my opponent's deck here. Okay, so they're playing just like an insect deck. Parasite Paranoid. In target one, equip target, becomes insect, cannot attack, activate. These effects. Huh, interesting. I didn't know that card existed. Beats. Okay. Um, it's even the body of the guy from the OCG art. That's kind of funny. And unfortunately, us TCG players probably don't pick up on that reference because we got the censored art for. Parasite Parasite, but eh, whatever it is what it is. Okay, so yeah, let's just go ahead and jump in. Oh, I didn't look at the loner deck. Yeah, whatever, it'll be a surprise. Yeah, I'm curious to see exactly how hard this is going to end up being. Uh, Apparently pretty difficult. What is this hand? What is this deck? If Gaia, Swift Gaia, or Gaia does piercing, if Gaia, okay, so my Gaia, this makes my Gaia's do piercing. If Gaia, the Dragon Champion, does battle damage, I get to Destiny draw. If you summon Gaia against twelve, okay. Reveal three, at least one Blackluster. Opponent randomly pick one. If they picked a Blackluster, add it to your hand. Otherwise, send the rest of the graveyard. So we're definitely gonna set that. Spiral Reborn, target one level 7 or a dragon in your graveyard, if special summoned a guy, the dragon champion, your opponent cannot target it. I guess we'll set that to you, and then just, what does my extra deck look like? Blackluster, Blackluster, okay, just multiple copies of a bunch of Gaia and Blackluster cards, got it, okay. Well, I guess we'll see how this plays out. Spoiler alert, I don't think it's going to play out particularly well. Um, wow, they have a Harpies, so that's pretty great, at least we have the beginning of Heaven and Earth. Okay, so, oh God, what do I even want to, oh my God, what do I even want to pick? What do these cards do? <laughs> okay, you can use this two tributes for warrior. You can send a level five or higher, special for your hand during battle phase, banish this card. You can normal summon this card without tributing. It's attack becomes 1900. This card is tributed. You can add a black luster soldier. This card is always tributed to this guy. If you want to control someone. If you control no monsters, or if you're able to control it, you can almost summon this card without tributing. Don't mind me, I'm just you know, reading all these. Okay. Okay, so we can pick... Is it three different ones? Whatever, we can pick like this one, uh, this one, and this one. Sure. Oh, no, it's not even three different ones. Okay, well. We at least set up the other two. Oh, but then that card is destroyed, right? I was going to say to bring it back with that uh, trap card. I, uh, wait, excuse me? Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what, what was that? 
During damage calc, if a player would take battle damage, you can make neither player take any damage. Oh, Giant Ballpark, I've heard about this card. And then if you send a normal monster this way, special summon this many... What? This card is so dumb! <laughs> so dumb. Okay, um... Scored points to a monster, your opponent's monster cannot target this card for attacks. If a monster's points to you, can special summon them. Hitter, get hurt, but banish it when it leaves the field. Okay. Um. Special summon. And, okay, so I can at least summon this, and then run over this, and then they'll get back. I mean, that doesn't really even matter. So I run over this one, right? Okay, let's get rid of their giant ballpark because I'm not trying to have three of these come down on me again. Okay, let's summon. Yes, Gaia the Magical Knight. And enter battle phase. I'll attack this one over here. Because if I destroy this one, they're just going to bring up... God, they have a hand... Oh, they have the Parasite Paris... Paranoid, not Parasite. Well, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I'm just going to end, I guess. Huh. Well, now I'm definitely starting to understand these people who said that this was so hard with the loner decks. Because, holy crap. Malevolent Sin... Return, target one, banish it to the next my phase at the end of the damage. Wait, wait, wait. At the end of the damage step, you can make this card and then increase its rank by three. Got it. And then what does this do? This one, one, two, three, one, okay. Oh, Jesus, everything's happening so fucking quickly here. Oh, that was lethal. <laughs> oh, okay. That was uh, exactly as hard as I thought it might be. Cool. Let's try that one again. Okay, back at it with attempt number two here with the loner deck. Oh my god, Burning Land is in this deck? Huh. I wondered, when I saw those people talking about how hard it was to win with these decks, I was like, how bad are these decks? Are people just memeing, or are these decks actually bad? Uh... These decks are really bad. <laughs> like, Burning Land, really? I mean, I get it. It's in theme with Curse of Dragon. And I guess it does destroy the giant ballpark, but... That's so gross. That's so disgusting. Why is that card in this deck? Why is that card in this deck where my opponent can giant ballpark? At least they didn't have it this time. They just have a little Goki Boar. I kind of give us Harpy's Feather Duster too, and my opponent doesn't even really play that many back rows. Soldier Guy of the Fierce Knight. Oh, this one. Well, I mean, I can't summon it, so... Cool. I'll just pass. Please don't have Giant Ballpark. Good. Okay. And let's see if we draw the out. Wow. That's actually just vanilla Curse of Dragon, isn't it? Okay. Wait, is my opponent throwing? Are they throwing away lethal? Sephirin Papillion? Papillion? It's 200. It's Crazy Summon, please one. Okay. Oh, and they're just summoning the thing. They're just flexing on me, basically. Cool. All right, we lost that one pretty quick. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be awful. Okay, attempt number three of this. Oh my god, we actually got a decent hand. Or what looks like a decent hand. Okay, what does this do? If this card is no more special, to add a... Spell trap that specifically this guy. If this card is sent to the graveyard, target a guy, the dragon champion. Uh, okay, got it. What is this field spell? Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects during the battle phase while Gaia the Dragon Champion is in the monster zone. Reveal Gaia the Fierce Knight, add a level 5 dragon, or reveal a level 5 dragon and add a Gaia the Fierce Knight. Cool. Good. Definitely gotta start by activating Extravagance, though. I'll banish 6, because we're running 3 of every card in our extra deck anyway. Um, let's see... Once per turn, you can send a level 5 or higher monster from your hand. So just send this card from your hand. Okay, so if I send one of these, can I bring it back? Ah, 
Oh, I can actually. Okay, let's start by activating the field spell, Galloping Gaia. And I'll use its effect. I'll put back one of my curse. <laughs> oh, I don't even have to put it back, I just reveal them. That's even better. Okay, yeah, let's reveal the. I, I totally glossed over the fact that this card's name is Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon. Great naming as always, Yu Gi Oh! Of course, this is the same game that gave us Magical Something, and uh, what's the other really good? Oh, Interplanetary Purple a Thorny Dragon. Um, okay, if this card is attributed, if your opponent controls a monster, you control a monster, special summon once per turn, one of monster attack, special summon your opponent's field, okay. Um, I already have that one in my hand. Should be one dragon fusion monster. Oh, wait a second. Do I not have a way to discard this? No, I do. It's the it's this guy. It's Gaia Origin. Okay, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna Gaia Origin, discard Curse of Dragon, the Curse Dragon, get a search with that. If this card is normal or specialed, this is a special summon, right? Can I normal summon this this turn and even bring it back? I guess I can set up my graveyard either way. Um, oh God, what do I even want to add here? I'll add this one as like a backup plan, Lord Guy of the Fierce Knight. Okay, let's activate Guy. Oh no 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 no! Shoot, I should have normal summoned this first. Oh no, but I want to get the special summon. No no no. Okay, I did that right. Our opponent is Max C too. Are you fucking kidding me? That's so that's so unfair. As if we, as if the AI isn't already fucking punching down enough in this scenario. Um, wait, why can't I summon this? Oh, because this can be used as two tributes. <gasps> no, I did I did figure that out right. Okay, but I don't want to play into Max C. God, that's so fucking annoying. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm just going to set the beginning of Heaven and Earth and pass here so I don't play into my opponent's Max C more. <laughs> the way I said that, Max C, and then the word more, it sounded like I said Max Seymour. Like, the card's name is Max and then Seymour. Like, like Final Fantasy X Seymour. It's the first, oh my god, giant ballpark. Yeah, go for it. I was gonna say, that's the first Seymour I think of when I hear that name. Either that or Seymour from Little Shop of Horror. Is that the guy's name, right? Is that the Rick Moranis' character? This card is set from the field to the graveyard, you can add blah blah blah. No, that's fine. The stupid giant's ballpark. I hate this card so much. <laughs> oh man, it's so ridiculous. Like, look at this. It's just disgusting. They added. Sure, you can go right ahead and add perfectly ultimate great moth. Although knowing my opponent, they can probably summon it. Oh wait, there is actually a card that can cheat that out. I, the golden cocoon. That's right. I forgot about that. Um, actually, do I even really want another one of those? I'll take. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go in the Why would I want to tribute? Okay, so if I go to all the trouble for making Guy the Dragon Champion, which this deck is clearly based around doing, why would I want to tribute it for Soldier Gaia? Doesn't this card suck? Okay, I'm just going to summon this one. Or reveal that one. Whatever. <clears throat> yep, that's fine. Ow and ow. Okay. Alt Artillery Catapult Turtle. You contribute one monster, special summon. Got it. Okay. It's load fire for this deck. Hmm. I mean, there's no reason not to activate this, right? Do I even, like... This deck is so weird. <laughs> this, like, I'm not used to these Gaia cards at all. Okay, I guess we'll add... I mean, this is the only one we don't have. Maybe we should add it? Sure. I mean, it is a quick effect, right? That's not awful. It's not as bad as I made it out to be. If you want to control some monster and you control no monsters, this does not have that condition, so we'll go ahead and special summon Lord Gaia first. We'll put him over here. 
And then I'll activate Gaia Origin. I guess I'll just discard my other Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon. Summon that. I can summon this. And treat that as two tributes. To bring out Gaia the Magical Knight, and now we can activate Gaia the Magical Knight's effect. Special summon Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon. Still think that's a really stupid name, but okay. Oh god, okay, which one do we want to actually add here? That's actually pretty useful. We can just boom boom hit two of those. We already have that. That's useless. The traps don't do us much good. Yeah, I'll get a Spiral Fusion. <gasps> oh, and then we can... Ooh, wait, we might actually be able to win this turn. 54 minus 2,000 is 34. That's 68. 26... Oh, that's so close to le Oh, with Lord Gaia, that is lethal. Oh my god, if my opponent doesn't have, like, a Mirror Force, which I don't think they do... Oh, and some of these are treated as Gaia the Dragon Champion. Hang on a second. This one. During the main phase, you can target one other card in the field that loses... This card loses 2600, and if you do, destroy that card. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, hell yeah! Okay, cool. Um, you... And... you. Okay, Gaia, the Magical Knight of Dragon. And now, during the main phase, quick effect, you can target one other card in the field. This card loses exactly 2600 attack, and if it does destroy this card, and this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can make this card gain 2600 attack. So, I bump this down to 26, blow up their card, declare an attack on one of the Cs, deal 600. This goes back up to 5200, I declare an attack on the other C for 3200. And then... 3... 35... 40. No, that's not enough for lethal. I can't blow up the back row and deal lethal. Ah, oh, shoot. I really wish I could remember. I confirmed the opponent's deck, too, and I don't remember what the trap cards in it were. I don't think they have Mirror Force. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? Your opponent can... Oh, okay, right, right, right. So yes, I definitely want to continue my main phase. Now we have to activate this to blow up the Parasite Paranoid. Which is annoying, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, you can... Whoa, wait a second. Oh no, that's why they added the Moth. <gasps> Shoot. Oh, God. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You can make this card gain 700. Oh, that's not going to be enough to... whatever. It's better than nothing. This card is special summon. Target one attack position monster in the field. Change it to defense position. You can add... should be this card. Add... that doesn't say... that doesn't let me out the perfectly ultimate moth. That's fine. Okay. Um... that's not... it doesn't go back to the hand at the end of the turn, does it? No? That would have been too easy. Ah, uh, of course I had... oh my god. That's really annoying. Okay, we're just gonna have to deal with it, I guess. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's this effect? In the graveyard? It's different from its original attack. Its attack becomes its original attack. That doesn't help me. Okay. Yep, we will absolutely activate that optional effect and attack another one of their super C's. Oh, can I do this during the main phase? Oh, that's not once per turn. Okay, so I can answer their moth. That's good. Okay, yep, main phase two. What? This card's name becomes a guy that I during the main phase, you can target one other card in the field. Oh no, I it is once per turn. It's just at the beginning, not the end. Okay, but I can do it during their main phase. Got it. Okay, that's fine. I'll just pass. <laughs> and then the back row was just another extravagance, of course it was. Hmm. 
Hmm, end of the main phase. We have to do this now because it's the end of the main phase. We're gonna destroy their perfectly ultimate great moth. Whoa, 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 wait. What? Oh, God, that's annoying. Oh, my God. That's fine, though, right? They're all just 2,000 attack. They can't get over my... Yeah, yeah, okay, good. Oh, my God, I think this might actually be the one. Oh, shit. Doomdozer. God, I haven't seen this card since, like... Here's a throwback for you guys. Okay, is anyone else familiar with Doomdozer Demise? Does anyone remember that deck? That was the ritual deck where you would uh, use advanced ritual art to send uh, normal insects to the grave and then summon Demise, and then you'd use Demise's effect to blow up the board, and then you'd special summon two Doomdozers and attack for lethal. Uh, cute deck from back in the day. Yeah, we're absolutely going to activate this guy as effect. Nope, that's fine. Um, this, this doesn't save it, right? During the battle phase, quick effect, you can banish this card from the graveyard and they target one monster from the field whose current attack is different from its original attack. Its attack becomes its original attack. No, because the only target is this, this Lord guy that gains 700, so... Um... That's fine. Okay, summon to this. That was weird. And then passed. I play Mirror Force, that's good to know. Okay. That actually makes sense if it's a Yugi deck that's in theme. Okay. Let's activate Galloping Gaia. And I can only I can only use the first effect. I mean we might as well, there's no reason not to. Oh, wait, what does this do? If this card is more special than target one field spell, what's first turn you confusion some minis and future monsters you control? That's actually pretty good. Oh, only monsters you control? Okay, that's not as good as I thought it was. I thought it was control and hand. Um. This card is more special than target one field spell, what's first turn you confusion some minis and future monsters you control? That's actually pretty good. Oh, only monsters you control? Okay, that's not as good as I thought it was. I thought it was control and hand. Um. This card is normal. This card is something graveyard. Target, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we'll just add one of these. Curse of Dragonfires. Um. Okay, let's normal summon artillery, artillery Catapult Turtle. Oh, I should just uh, summon a Curse of Dragon Fire with this, right? Because then I can fuse it with my Lord Gaia. Is this treated as Gaia the Fierce Knight? Can I use Lord Gaia? One Gaia the Fierce Knight monster. Yeah, I can do that. Wow, a spiral, a spiral Spear Strike would actually be nice now. That's not necessary, though. Um. Yeah. Oh wait, what does this one do? Fusion summon. You can also banish monsters from your graveyard. This card is fusion summon. Target one spell trap. And you're gonna... uh, oh wait, you know what? Oh, that is actually good. I can use this and then get back my Gaia spell, and then I can. Yeah, let's do that. Curse of Dragon, the... What is it? The Magical Knight Dragon. Got it. Okay, yeah, we'll activate that. We'll add back our Spiral Fusion, which we should be able to now activate. We can. Good. Uh, nope, don't need to chain that. We're going to Fusion Summon Gaia the Magical Knight. I will banish one of these and one of these. Oop, and one of these. Here we go. Do I want to get rid of my opponent's back row first? I think I do, actually. Because this can attack twice, because I summoned it off of Spiral Fusion. Let's do it. Okay, it was a dead card. Whatever, it's fine. Alright, move to battle phase. Okay, Gaia... Quote-unquote, Gaia the Dragon Champion will attack here. Then it'll gain its 5200 attack and be able to make a second attack. Attack here, right? 
Whew, all right, there's lethal. Oh, finally, Jesus. <laughs> cool, okay, so attempt number three. That wasn't actually, like, too, too awful, but, uh, yeah, okay, cool. Got a little bit of XP for that. Cleared it with the loner deck. Obviously, I'm not worried about taking that deck on with my deck. Um, can I actually look at the... I, Oh, it does let you look at the loner deck. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, this deck is hot garbage. <laughs> let me look at the opponent's deck again. Let me just see this. Like, bro, look at this. Their deck is so much better than mine. Huh, I totally understand all the memes now. So, that's kind of cool. Okay. Um, yeah, I think this video has gone on long enough to stand by itself for this first duel here in the SP deck challenge. So... Um, yeah, uh, let me know if you like this kind of content, like the solo style content with the loner decks. Um, and if you guys want to see more, I would absolutely be happy to oblige. But yeah, like I said, that's going to do it for this one. So without further ado, oh, sorry, I got to do, I almost skipped my whole usual spiel of thanking you guys. I, for the first time, Jesus, I can't believe I almost did that. No, I definitely need to thank you all for watching, especially to the end of the video like this. That is super duper awesome. I am even more appreciative if you're commenting and subscribing. I love engaging with you guys in the comments, so love to see you there. But even if you're just watching, that is A-OK -okay with me. As long as you're along for the ride, that's what I'm looking for. So now I can say that without further ado, this is Xlex signing out. Hope you guys have a fantastic day.